Before we started this project, most of us knew Minamara Rainforest is the big green valley that the family would visit in summer or any time for a walk under the huge trees. It was always a race up to the top falls. It was nice. It was a national park and the adults knew there was something special about it. Certainly, the trees and the forest were like nothing else in our local area. I knew it was special because I came here in primary school, but I didn't know that subtropical rainforests were found this far south. We didn't know it was in Badaru National Park and it was protected. This meant that for years and years ahead, we would be able to go there and see the huge trees and all the other stuff. We now know this is not the case. Global warming and climate change is and will continue to alter e ecosystems across the country and around the world. So the question we needed to ask was, what do we value in our unique example of a subtropical rainforest? And what do we most want to keep? And how might management change to protect the things we value most? We went there to find out what we personally value in the park. I found that the thing I really love about the place is the giant stinging tree, the red cedar and the cabbage tree palm. I like the cabbage tree palms and the strangler figs. I really love the strangler figs. What I really love is the lie birds and not just the calls, but seeing them running around the rainforest. There are these orcas we found out about that only grow in the spray zone of the Roadfall. Such a tiny place for them to grow. I love that. My nan used to go there as a kid and swim. I can remember her telling me that when I was really small. I really love the sound of the water, especially as it runs over the rocks. How is climate change impacting your local national parks and protected areas? With your school or local environment group, you could find out. Investigate what is special, unique and rare about the plants and animals that live there. How people use it now and in the past. And just what it is the community values and wants to protect. And what they really love about the place. We have created a community survey you could adapt and use in your local area. Then you can see what community or management action can be taken to maintain those special values. Climate change will be an enormous challenge for protected areas and protected area managers. Only people are able to see these values in our environment, and only people can act to protect them. In part, that is what protected areas are, expressions of our love for the environment. What do you love?